Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Thank you so very much for taking time to come over and visit with me over on Fritz's Cooking again. And as you can tell, I don't think we're going to be doing a whole lot of cooking. <laughs> um, I'm up here in the hospital at uh, Baptist East Hospital and uh, I just wanted to uh, share this with y'all real quick. Uh, a lot of my great friends on here know that uh, I've been going uh, through some health issues and uh, I've been keeping them posted and I, I thank you so very, very much for your prayers. Um, and for those of y'all that I didn't tell, I didn't want to burden y'all. I know there's a lot of y'all that have a lot of stuff on your plate too as well. And um, that's the thing, guys. One of the points of this video is, guys, you don't know that uh, what's on somebody's plate at any given time. You know, they could be going through a divorce. They could be having uh, issues with their family. They could be having personal health issues. And, uh, but anyway, guys, I wanted to tell you what's going on with me real quick. Um, if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know, about this time last year, give or take a few months, I had congestive heart failure, almost died. And what that was, was, uh, water built up on me. I couldn't breathe. And the reason that happened was because my arteries were clogged and I had what they called, I guess the widow maker or whatever is what they called it. Um, that one big artery, it, you know, it kills most people. So what they did was they actually went in, put a stent in me, and uh, you know ran it through my arm, just like this one. And what I am, I'm back in the hospital again, is because um, I got super dizzy, and you know felt like I was gonna faint and lightheaded. Just I wasn't me. And uh, basically, what they did was the you know I guess they figured you know maybe I was stopped up again. So they went ahead and they did an immediate heart cath. And the good news out of that, guys, was uh, when the doc got in there, he said my stent was as clean as the day he put it in. Okay, which I thought was amazing because, you know, you see how I eat on here sometimes. And uh, my arteries were clear. Okay. Now, guys, what I portray on here, like on Sundays, that's just one day a week. Okay, guys, I, I'm not, eat, I don't eat like that every day. Okay, I'm not going to say I eat great, but I don't eat like that every single day. And, and some of these recipes that I do really aren't really that bad for you. But uh, anyway, I've gotten comments like that, you know, nasty comments about that. And, uh, but anyway, I digress on that. I can handle that. I'm a big boy. Been around the block a time or two. Been on here for quite some time. You can't let that kind of stuff bother you. Um, so what I wanted to actually do is uh, share with you what's going on now. And my father, this is hereditary. My father and my grandfathers, all of all, everybody had heart trouble. Okay. And what they determined while they were in there doing the latest um, um, heart cath was that I have a weak heart. And basically that is dealing with the ejection factor. And I think this stuff is really interesting. If you'd like to see, maybe I'll leave the link uh, below or whatever. But your heart should be functioning at uh, 65%. And that means that it's pumping out 65% of oxygenated blood throughout your system. Um, 35 is bad. Okay, bad, bad. I'm at 25. So what they did, they told me that, you know, I was at um, what they call at risk for sudden cardiac death. Okay, and like I said, that stuff runs in my family. So what they did was they immediately uh, uh, did another procedure. And what they've done here, guys, is they've actually, oh, it, it hurts. And they went in through some muscles. But what they actually did was they implanted, it's called an ICD. And this is a uh, an internal um, defibrillator. And basically, when my heart gets out of rhythm, it's going to shock it back into rhythm. So basically, it's like having an insurance policy. So it's sort of like I got the EMS riding around with me. But uh, anyway, guys, um, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. And it's giving me a lot of peace of mind as well. But uh, one of the points being with this video was not only to share with all my wonderful friends out there and, and subscribers. And like I said, I do think of each and every one of y'all as my friends. Now, um, it's come to my attention like I was laying in bed sleeping. But, you know, you know how it is trying to sleep in here. And I heard uh, heard my bell go off on my laptop. And... Thank God I've been, I brought my laptop with me, man. I, I was going, uh, you go stir crazy up in here. And this way I can actually, you know, talk with and, and visit with my friends. But, you know, it's messages like this, you know, guys, a lot of people you, are going through a lot of different stuff. If you don't personally know somebody and they're not in your life 24 hours a day, 
you don't have a clue about what's really going on in their life. You know what I'm saying? They could, um, they could have lost a loved one. They could be going through a divorce. You know what I'm saying? Um, health problems. And, you know, I'm just saying that uh, you might want to think first before you, you know, you start running your mouth about somebody you don't even know nothing about, you know, or the way maybe you picture something in your head that somebody's about. And guys, I've been dealing with nasty, negative stuff on here for quite some time. And, you know, like they say, you're, you're not a YouTuber unless uh, you deal with that type of crap. But um, anyway, guys, and, and I forgive the people that, that have treated me like that. I, I truly do. And uh, but I just wanted to share this with you real quick. And and I'm not upset with you at all, man. But that's the, the point being is what I just said. I'm up here in the hospital room. It's uh, 1230 at night and I get a bing, you know, the bing that somebody's notified you. And like I said, dude, I'm not upset with you at all. Um, let me just read this and get this out real quick. Green Bastard. Just a note to let you know that I'm officially unsubscribing from your channel. It seems that you are not interested in the videos that your subscribers post and are only interested in your own posted vids and what people have to say. It has been real. Take care and rock on, GB. Okay, brother. I, I understand and I'm not upset whatsoever. But I'm just making a point here. Thanks for letting me know, is what I write back to him. I'm so sorry you feel that way. I wish you wouldn't have not wasted your time typing me to tell me what I am and am not interested in. The ironic thing is I'm taking the time to comment back to you while I'm laying in my, hosp in, in my Baptist East hospital bed with a brand new heart defibrillator they just put in my chest this morning. God bless you, GB. I will stay sub to you, no biggie. Take care of yourself. You are always welcome here on my channel. And you are. You, you are. And um, like I said, I'm sorry you feel that way. And maybe you're going through something and you just wanted to, you know, share. But, um, and I hope you're not. But uh, anyway, guys, it's, I don't know. Um, I just wanted to get on here and share with you. I couldn't sleep. I'm hoping they're going to let me go tomorrow. Um, when they cut into me, man, it, they had to cut through a bunch of muscle and everything. And I'm here to tell you, it hurts. <laughs> I'm not, I'll be honest with you. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to I'm going to be I'm going to be I'm going to be back 100 percent. And now I've got like an insurance policy. Like I said, I've got like the EMS riding around with me all the time. And uh I'm going to get out there, me and old Sarge are going to start doing some walking. I'm going to try to build up my heart as best as I can. You know, I think once it's weak, it's weak. But uh, they said with proper, you know, uh, um, therapy, which would be drugs and whatnot, that I, sh you know, I should be able to live a, a, a good life. And I plan on doing that. And uh, I'm hoping y'all are going to come back and visit with me. Like I said, um, I'm going to keep right on cooking and having a good time. I'm going to be living my life, guys. So, and like I said, for those of y'all that, that actually feel this way as uh, this man does, I completely understand, and I won't be mad at you whatsoever, and you'll always be welcome back, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so very much. Bye.